Jake Hole surprised fans earlier last week by releasing his brand new song, Port Antonio. He discusses the feud between Drake and Kendrick Lamar in it, which caused listeners to become divided. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Get the fuck out of here with this soft shit. I hate this soft hip hop shit. It's soft. Call it what it is. Others, like Joe Budden, think he should stop apologizing for things, while others still think he made the right decision by giving in. These hip hop niggas is feeling like hoes out here. That's regrets. Budden criticized Cole in a recent episode of his podcast, stating unequivocally that he believes Cole's attempts to patch things up with Drake only serve to make him appear soft. Yo. These niggas out here are hoes and bitches, having to cater to the feeling of niggas that they don't invite to Thanksgiving, to Christmas, to you New Year's Eve. Budden went on to say that although he doesn't particularly like Cole's position in this whole situation, he believes he executed it really well. My caveat, exceptional rap. I'm saying two different points, this is exceptional rapping, he remarked. However, it appears that the song was enjoyed by others besides Button. But the narrative of Drake and J. Cole is as intriguing. The pair were teamed for the popular track First Person Shooter in 2023 after working together since 2010. The one that started the entire Big Three conflict in the first place, you know. Drake was left to take on Kendrick Lamar alone when J. Cole withdrew from the conflict. That's what Cole stated in his brand new song Port Antonio. Drake apparently paid attention. J. Cole dropped San Antonio out of the blue on October 9th. Fans were excited to get new music, but no one could have predicted the lyrical topics that Cole takes on. He addresses the big three beef head on, and even calls out Drake by name during one of his verses. He makes it clear that he doesn't dislike the six god, and acknowledges how much help he's given him in his career. They say I'm picking sides, don't you lie on me, my N.A., J. Cole spits. The start of another war, hey Drake, you'll always be my N.A. I ain't ashamed to say you did a lot for me, my N.A. The Toronto rapper seemingly respected what Cole had to say. He liked the Instagram post that initially uploaded the song. The timing of the shout-out is interesting. Drake recently made headlines for less than stellar reasons. I'll tell you one thing about nostalgia. Drake has to vent about a few things. He just arrived at the nostalgia party in Toronto in the hopes of having a good time. He even took the podium to say a few words while the audience was talking over him. Naturally, you were probably able to infer what the sick god was referring about without ever reading this headline. He has a lot of fake friends to call out harshly in the hip-hop community, and beyond, whether it be long-standing, on-again disputes like those with The Weeknd, unexpected switch-ups like Future, or his bitter rivalry with Kendrick Lamar. You're going to come to a point in life where people you thought were friends or people you thought were close to you, they might switch up. They might try to move funny with you. They might stab you in the back. They might do a lot of things to you. You'll come to that realization, wherever you're at in life. You've probably been there and you'll be there again. That's how life is. But look, sometimes, it's you and you alone by yourself. Sometimes it's you alone with your thoughts. But not every open wound in Drake's life is currently being salted with lemon juice. At his China event, Kanye West recently complimented Drake for penning the song's chorus, yikes. Over the years, their rivalry has also seen many changes, and we doubt that these changes are finished. Considering that, we don't think the Toronto superstar took this well, despite the fact that it looks good. The phrase no friends in the industry must be Drake's motto this year. For him, Kendrick Lamar has been the big bad wolf, but a long line of musicians have taken individual blows at Drizzy. S.A.P. Rocky, The Weeknd, Future, and Metro Boomin are just a few of them. But in Drizzy's opinion, it goes even farther than the hip-hop community. Drake may agree with Rory and Mal on that, at the very least, based on their theories. Cole chose a side, and no one's talking about it. The boy liked a repost of the sequence of videos from this conversation that appeared on Instagram. This is classic behavior from him, and it makes us wonder. But in that same sentence, we aren't ruling it out. Despite Cole's desire to stay out of the feud, he has put himself in a few circumstances that seem to indicate otherwise. Among the ones that Rory and Mal bring up are his recent work with Daylit and his collaboration on the Ruby Rosary with Rocky. We have seen Cole collaborate with two people that one could deem be ops of Drake specifically. Indeed, it seems like Cole has taken a stand and drawn a line in the sand for both podcasters. Mal continues by claiming that Cole is aware that Drake doesn't bother him or anyone else in general. We know he's been going back and forth with ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. We've never even known Cole and ASAP to ever have like a relationship like that. On the other hand, several fans disagreed, claiming that Cole simply enjoys recording songs with everyone and will take advantage of any opportunity, no matter who it involves. In general, it might be a bit of a reach, but who knows at this point. On October 1st, Drake made the decision to tidy up. The co-founder of OVO was following a number of well-known rappers and celebrities on Instagram. 
even though it seemed like they would make fun of him. LeBron James attended the Juneteenth pop-out concert by Kendrick Lamar. Additionally, he was seen on camera praising Lamar's Not Like Us diss. Drake seems to have taken the decisive step to remove King James from his inner circle. On Tuesday, he unfollowed the NBA player as well as several other well-known figures. Fans with keen eyes saw that Drake was unfollowing users one after another. Kendrick Lamar was unfollowed by him, which makes somewhat sense. The fact that the Six God was still pursuing K-Dot following their combat was, if anything, peculiar. Additionally, Metro Boomin, Joe Budden, DeMar DeRozan, and Playboy Cardi were unfollowed by Drake. These all correspond with what happened throughout the fight. The entire event was initiated by Metro Boomins like that. DeRozan appeared in the Not Like Us music video and performed a dance on stage at the pop-out event. Joe Budden has often voiced his disapproval of the Six God. Playboy Cardi is the only one in the group that truly raises questions. The cult classic has collaborated with Drake several times, most recently on the song No Face. Cardi and Drake seem to be in a good relationship. However, the latter was not included in the No Face version that was released for streaming. The decision made by the Six Gods might possibly have been influenced by Cardi's social circle. Recently, Playboy Cardi clown streamer Adam Ross, who seemed to get along well with Drizzy. In addition, he released a huge joint hit with The Weeknd, who for 10 years has been one of Drake's greatest rivals. These unfollows were tracked by DJ Academics on his own Instagram account. It's interesting to see that one participating artist was spared. Drake continues to follow Future even though he appears on the song like that, which initiated the rivalry. Those who have followed the story of these two musicians will know that Drake was especially wounded by his breakup with Pluto. It was something he stated in the song Family Matters. Pluto ST make me sick to my stomach, we ain't never really been through it, he raps. Lel and Wayne, he f king lame, so I know he had to be an influence. Maybe there's hope for a reconciliation down the line.